Two games yesterday, uh, an absolute barn burner, a, a difficult one against Bet Boom. I know in their minds they feel like they could have won a, a, a team, sorry, that they've already played off against. So a team that they would have been more prepared for, second time of asking. But it is just the fact that it comes really, really quickly after that G2 game, which, yes, they win, but it's taxing. It takes a lot out of you. And then three maps against Bet Boom, you know, some moments in there where maybe, indeed, if you were a bit sharper, if it was first game of the day, fully focused in, you might have won that fight that swayed the round, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all things that are going to be in the minds of M80. So I think Tyloo, if they can explode into action here, they may well be able to get the catch. Need. Pinned over. Decent damage that they are going to be the only one who eats a chunk of it. But all in all, a very slow, timid move up here by Tyloo. A contact play. A bit of util to work with, and Mal was just waiting for his opportunity, and in it comes. Anti flash and a dip back towards CT. Does get flashed off the angle, and now he's been wrapped upon. Oh, he gets one. Add a second as well. That's not bad from Malbs. Yeah, pretty decent stuff. However, four up banana could be problematic here for M80. There's a smoke that's gone down on the site, and that gives Ty Lu some good room. I think they'll have a pretty decent idea here. They've got a deep push in from ZDR. Kaze. Oh, he's going to mess up the smoke here. He's able to work in front of it. Not able to find a frag. Set up a bit for Advent. Good for the first. Struggles for the second. 3v2. Still definitely on. ZDR has to win this fight. He does so. There's a hold on to the bomb. He spots them. Sin's still going. Sin's still defusing. And Swisher will get the defense in. Kaze, though, bursts out to deny the defuse and get Ty Lu the round. Oh, my God. That's so close. And it's so scrappy as well. But... Ty Lu will take it. Kaze, good work. Got a chance to speak to him as well. Uh, you know, off the back of their game yesterday. And it was nice to kind of have a conversation about what he was feeling like, how the team was doing. Obviously, we got to speak a little bit about the changes and what was kind of happening with this Ty Lu team. And he was talking about basically how they are in flux. They've got a lot of players on the bench, but they're slowly trying to intra... Uh, integrate kind of basically the youngsters and they're doing it bit by bit. And ZDR, oh, this is this opportunity. Cars like good work from him. Two kills to his aim. Two fours at the R. So not bad. A little bit of a scrap at the top end of banana there, but nothing much comes of it. Back off here towards middle. Oh, advent. Beautiful tag. Nade down in. Doesn't quite do the damage, but Advent, I guess, softened up even more. That bomb got to be careful, sir. Out in the middle, all alone, is not where you want to be. Mac 10 opens us up. Still two round this corner, though, for M80. Could be absolutely deadly. Slow wind up for Tyloo. Not bursting forwards. Weary of a stack. Weary of where these players... Oh, oh, trying to look for fights. Jam Young catches on the boost. Really well timed there. It has to be said now. And now, in this three versus five, M80. No, oh, two versus five, may I say. They're left with so little to work with. And, you know, even saving here is not the worst thing in the world, but they're not even going to be given that luxury. ZDR on the lurk. Finds one through Balkan. The last man that are slacks with the scout. Expectations pretty limited from us. All in all, that'll be that. Slacks might go on the, on the way out here. And kind of misses his opportunity, misses a window. He might have even been spotted as well. Tyloo going for a deep save in through Banana. They, they are going to have a little look in to find him at the very least. He needs to be careful. He's being flanked from both sides. Flash going to come over towards CT. Gets a tag. And now he's been wrapped from behind. He's in trouble. And he'll fall. So nothing saved by M80 and nothing gained either as Tyloo take a 2-0 to zero lead. Pretty decent, pretty simple. I don't think there's uh, there's too many complaints from Tyloo earlier. here. We said Inferno's must win, and this is a very good start. Yeah, looking good. Looking very good indeed. I, I like it. It's very disciplined, you know, and, and the sense of timing is uh, absolutely solid. Great read on the map thus far. Patience, right, is paying off. And that is something, you know, you have this young, 
happy-go-lucky kind of team in M80. I think they will be a bit restless if you just hang around and let them make moves, let them make mistakes. It's exactly what happens last round for Jam Young in particular. Speaking of, here he is again. Finds one, spotting another, and they are playing it safe. The flash and the molly gets the better of Swisher in the end. Looking good here for the A hit. Should be easy. A couple of pistols. No real issues. That's and simple. Going to make their way in. They are pushing banana, but Jamie, I'm going to hold for it. Barrel might be poking out a window, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. At range, it should be fine. Still tapping away. Make sure there's no over over fights. He's trying to isolate the fights as best he can. Gets the support coming through from ZDR. He actually wants the kills and Jamie will start tapping away himself. Sin. Slicing a watermelon. Taking a pop shot. He doesn't want to give money away to the MAC-10, which I can kind of respect in all fairness. As he continues to try and run away and he runs in towards the Glail. So not giving them as much money. But a very simple third on the board for Tai Lu. M80 back in towards the buy. Back in the investment. Now for them. Can they continue rolling forward? Can they uh, find that form that they did against G2? Can they start to put the brakes on towards Tai Lu? Or is this going to be Tai Lu coming out the gate in towards this map, flying, really starting to find their form, you know, late in towards this tournament when basically when elimination's on the line? Slack's playing aggressive with the AWP, in all fairness, looking for an early pickup. Not much to be had thus far. M80, though, looking to get aggressive. But again, Ty Lu, the patience pays off. Perfect flash. Jam Young, an entry king right now. Nearly does go down there on the trade attempt, but they'll be happy with the opener. kill or Tyler and the big thing as well is just all of this space mercury a lot of damage waiting for the swing as well we'll actually get out of the way in time which is good and I'll double back towards the a site they've seen two bits of util thrown simultaneously over towards b and they look like they just don't want to test it and they're going to instead rush up towards a this is a really good call only one man towards black site record all to do anchoring met the molotov and only able to get one that rotation, that mid-round call there by Tyloo is super, super good. Yeah, they're looking great. They're looking so great. I'm not going to lie to you. This is really, really well uh, rehearsed here. An M80 struggling. I think we've got to get a timeout in for them because Tyloo are just running rings around them. You know, it seems like the reads are perfect. Jam Young on that entry. As said, uh, patient. Pl I've already clocked on. Play a bit patient. M80... They're going to come to you. They're, they're playing confidently. They believe in themselves a little bit. But again, they get restless. They feel like they have to do something. They have to have a presence in the round. And Ty Lu, ready for that. And capitalizing on it as well. It's one thing to play safe and not give them early kills. It's another to counter them and use their own aggression against them. Oh, well, I think you're spot on. This has actually really been good from Ty Lu. Cathedral's coming alive. Calls have been good. You know, as much as uh, times have been tough for Evan, I think if I'm right in saying the lowest rate of player at the event thus far, at least he was yesterday, he's actually, you know, doing his own. He's pulling his way. He's calling well. There's, there's no complaints. M80 may have come in towards his map a little lax. And uh, it's not going all too well for them. Slack to try and get active. Had an opportunity. Actually a little late on towards the second mid peak. And that costs him. Now he has to fall away. It's good at kind of space already gained here by Ty Lu. They are playing very quick out the gates, getting a lot of control, and then pumping the brakes in these mid rounds. And it's forcing M80 to just slightly over rotate. Bursting out through brackets here. Slacks on the famous angle on the corner here. We've seen Woxic finding a lot of success from there on uh, Eternal Fire. Another team that really like the Inferno. Sin. Dangerous presence. Oh, a little jump spot. Trying to bait them in a bit. Swisher. Can't find success, however. 
Melted. Oh, and Sin goes down too. That feels like it should be the round. There's, there's no real way for them to save. They have to fight their way out. Maybe Slacks could be the saving grace. Shot rings off a bit early. He goes back in for more misses and goes down. It's not looking good, man. M80 are just not on the same kind of level. Miss shots, miss reads. Ty Lu are absolutely in a winning position already for me. I was just saving. Just what do you do here, right? Can't do anything. Ty Lu are just running rampant here. Advent, Cars, like Mercury all combining so well. Opportunities given and taken. And you, you cannot complain at all. He's showing. Good angle there by Miles. He'll get his kill, but then he gets tagged. Doesn't want to stick around too much. Gonna cross. I need to take a chunk of a nade as well. I don't know. I don't think he survives it. Molotov to one side is being surrounded on all angles. The smoke is the only thing keeping him alive. In all fairness, they're gonna pop through it. From Alter, he'll fall. That they are ruthless. This is the guy we highlight to coming towards this game. He has been so, so good for Tyloo. Yeah, finally, we will see a pause come out of M80. So needed. They, they have looked a little rough, right? I mean, they're not exactly the confident self. The individuals aren't stepping up. We're not seeing the likes of kind of Malbs or Slacks get active. Sin is normally quite a fragging IGL, but all in all, it's been quite a rough thing where for Tai Lu, it's very simplistic cause of just good contact towards Sai, a little bit quick in terms of the pace, and it's working. Replays speaking for themselves, as it is mostly Tai Lu players. Nice little save spot, though. Keep that one in your back pocket for your uh, Premier games. So long as your opponent can't see you through the wall already. It's a rarity these days, isn't it? <laughs> every time, uh, just, every time, like MM comes up, we're just absolutely rinsing the game. In all fairness, I played uh, from here yesterday, 15k plus, which is meant to be, meant to be cursed, and uh, yeah, on dust two, and it was pretty easy. We won very easily. So, uh, a cheaterless experience. Five, five stack? Uh, no, four stack. Four oh, stack well. on random. Yes. And as per, the random was useless. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. I was going to say, maybe maybe that was your one guy. Oh, no. No, no. He did absolutely nothing. Actually played it with our observer. I think he's observing this game. Zox. Big up. Yeah. Played one with him. That was pretty good. Good time. Pretty easy win. Can't complain. Hate to see that Dusty was back in the pool, but what can you do? What can you do? There's no point complaining. It ain't changing. Opening kill. There's the way of M80. They're still getting active, but they're still looking like they want to go towards A. There's three players here to meet them. And Molotov aptly timed, reckon to stay up on high, but they're going to go through this, and that will cost them his life. Swing in sight. Beautiful work. Lovely little double coming through. Is Well, oh, Hadford and Demion combine, and before you know it, Bomb goes down. I don't know if the AK of Slacks actually wants to give this a go. Mm. Yeah, no armor. I mean, uh, there's not much point, really. He is... Thinking about saving, I think he's trying to convince the fellas. Yeah, and eventually they will save for it. Malb's on nothing but a dig is going to stick around, but they they work it out between them. Swisher's got armor. He gets cheaper head armor into the next. You know the story. Mr. Malb's, though, could uh, deny some guns away. If you look at the HP bars, really quite low. He takes a kill bonus for himself, but I don't think there's really any saving. Ah, he gives up the fight, unfortunately. I felt like he might have been able to slow them down, catch them on the edge, but uh, yeah, it's maybe not information that he is privy to. All the same, six in a row now for Tyloo. Again, another nice showing from them in that round where it starts a little shaky, looks a little dangerous, but they are able to keep their cool and find the trades just right on top of each other, you know, really playing well as a, as a unit. So, 6-0. No response. Nothing on offer. Yeah. Not been a lot to work with at all for M80. And it is getting to a position of being quite dire. He's going to come down. Jamio might try and play through the smokes here. Home's not exactly contesting for this. So, got a decent amount of space here to work with towards the top card. They're going to be given all of this control. M80. You can see them just at times being... Maybe a little bit overly cautious. I mean... Getting dicey, flashing the corner. 
Speaking of, just like I say that, Marvel's all re aggressed, which is good. Taking back that control. Do not give Tyloo the opportunity to just run rampant across the map. I think it goes back to some more util. A couple of flashes for him to work with. Once again, looks like they're setting towards A. We've had very good success here, so why not? Does make sense. Utility coming over the top. Going to be moving a bit faster behind it this time, though. Flash has come round. Nothing found as yet, but yeah, you can see it's really well played here on the back of that utility, gaining a lot of ground, catching M80 off guard. A pace change is exactly maybe what Tyloo needed here. Slacks, good for one. That's it. It's wreck in towards pit. First comes in, second's a little harder for him. Can he close gaps here? Oh, not looking too likely. He does a bit more damage. I would say time bought, but like it's the A bomb site. Once that motor smoke goes down, it's so hard for the rotators to help out. 3v2. M80 need a round. So there's an argument here. There's a thought here of like, maybe we just give it a go, you know, and, and hopefully the gods of Counter-Strike look favorably upon us. But I think it is quite the opposite. Swisher, clean find onto the head of the first. Unaware of this third player in particular. Yeah, tries to pre-fire in and Kaze will take him. Seven to zero. Tyloo, no signs of slowing down. What a thought, right? I mean, coming into the series off the back of that G2 game of M80 yesterday, I mean, I was looking at this thinking, this could be a massacre for M80 because they actually looked really good, but they do look like a shadow of their former selves. This is not the M80 that we saw, even against Bet Boom. Yeah, they lost that series, but I used to think they played relatively well for the most part. It's tough, man. It really is. It's not been a great showing. Second time I utilized already here. Def getting on the mic and, you know, understandably so. This has been pretty rough. Ty Lu. He breaks, he pauses mid-rounder, causing M80 to just slightly overface and overextend. And they're doing a couple of janky plays which are costing them, you know, pushes through smokes. And Ty Lu are just playing guns up. They're so aggro, but it's working. I don't blame them. So yeah, this is good. I think there's no complaints at all for Ty Lue. Obviously, I've had my reservations about this team. I think they have so much potential, but I've been held back at times. But my God, they are playing really well. This is the Ty Lue that I've been wanting for ages. We're Asian Counter-Strike enjoyers. And, you know, it's only been uh, the story of Mongols for the most part on the international scene. It's good. Really good. Any more that Ty Lue get in this half would be amazing. But even if it is just seven, it's, it's not even a bad T side, to be perfectly honest. Util over the top, gains control in Banana. Flash round, Tyloo mixing things up a little bit here. This is one of the things that happens though. You get into a lead and you're so dominant, you feel like you gotta be ahead of the curve, man. You gotta be cutting edge, you know? You gotta get in there and come up with new ideas before they figure you out. And you start mind gaming yourself a little bit, but the A bomb side's been working pretty regularly. This B switch up. Might be troublesome. Might be something that M80 oh, can capitalize on. Great nade there. He's opening set up. Smoke going to come over. Jamion playing anti. Mercury facing contact. The Mercury gets flashed. Jamion can support him. Nice and simple. Making a move. Molotov will come on towards second orange. One more in towards new box as well. Going to force out the fight. It can just play the edge there with that Molotov. It doesn't go all the way deep. So it does give an opportunity about to try to make something work. Molly in towards barbecue. He's okay to force out a fight, but it's not good enough for Slacks. Good shot. Numbers now were in their favor, but not anymore. Kaze making a move all the way back towards Pillar. This is a good position. The flick is a beaut. Looks for the second, can't quite connect. Once again, setting up for it. Slacks walks straight into danger. And that's another round for Tyloo. Eight to zero. Beautiful, beautiful work from this side they are simply out playing m80 and there's no two ways about it glorious absolutely glorious 2v2 looks uh, decent for m80 looks doable for m80 and again as i said the b switch up might be the difference maker but no tyloo can make that work too kaze hasn't died yet fair play 
And it's not exactly like he's like worth pointing out. Not, not even like he's baiting or anything. Like he's actively looking for fights there at the tail end. So credit to him. Slax. Got a scout. Does like the scout to be fair to him. Could be the old tag and bag strategy. Oh, Kaze tucks his head up the time. The tag will come on towards Jam Young. And one spotted in towards second. Oh, Mercury, watch yourself here. He can round. They just dropped away, actually. They might have been able to uh, isolate him. But playing a bit safer. All falls silent here. There's Tai Lu taking things slowly again. Testing waters in different areas. A heavy apps play. M80 somewhat set up as the utility comes over. Swisher is immediately on his bike, getting round to long to bolster up the MP9. Could be a deadly little setup over here if they can make it work. There goes the head of Jam Young. They'll drop back. Man advantage, M80. Wreck below balcony here. He gets blinded up, though. Perfect flashes again from Tai Lu. And the fights at range look decent. Sin doing well on the MP9 to keep the dream alive. The site itself has fallen. But a 3v3, not out of the realms of possibility. Advent's been so comfortable in these fights so far. I think he's currently on now 4-1 on opening duels. He's loving it. Mercury will find Swish. And now in a 2 versus 3, this is a good position to find yourself in. I mean, at the very least, it's a low buy from M80. So he didn't expect a hell of a lot. But they're not being given that much either. Sin, all that's left. He will... Well, I look like he was going to try and pick up the gun and get out of there, but I don't think he has time. I think he knows that even if he picked it up and tried to make a run for it, he would have died to the bomb radius. So an MP9 is all he will get. And that basically be about that. Yeah, so three and one for Advent and opening duels, two and one for Jam Young as well. Having a great time. They really are. Sin's had a couple of moments himself as he's two and one, but. This has been Advent. He's, he's quite relentless in terms of his aggression. Happy to get into the fights. That's a pretty poor missed shot, but a freebie for Advent every day of the week. This is a good, good showing of kind of thing. 9 and 0. Uh, what is happening, right? This is a side who, you know, on this map at one point were in so much trouble to Sharks. There's no two ways about it. They were all over the place. And then, you know, uh, kind of came back and, and, and started really kind of. Uh, pushing that one the distance, though, kind of the way we kind of expected. But, you know, before that, the Falcons had his moments of being close. Falcons to win it. G2, very, very kind of comfortable for G2 for the most part. This is such a surprising position we find ourselves in because M80 have looked clean this Pro League, right? You know, lost the bet boom twice, but bar that, it's been a good run, right? Here we see B Sharks 2 to 1, B G2 2 to 1. They had big victory to have under the belt. And then prior to this event, you know, Wins in the Esports World Cup over Liquid a couple of times. or Liquid one time, Legacy another time as well. So yeah, I don't know. I felt quite confident for MAT, but their confidence looks absolutely rocked. I don't know if it is what you were talking about coming back to it. Maybe them being a little bit fatigued off the back of a long day yesterday. Big damage early on onto Ty Lu. That is something that MAT have, have lacked. Ty Lu playing more forward facing. Not able to get that banana control that they are after, though. You know, it now becomes a battle of getting this one quickly, getting this one dominantly, laying down the law. And I don't know if M80 are going to be ready for it. I was like, jumping for information, but nothing really gained there for him. So, again. By bit, starting to make a move. It's so quiet here. What is the play? Towards B's not the worst idea in the world. Swisher and Malb's got it all to do. And both have been, you know, decent by M80 standards, the two kind of top fraggers, but it's not exactly been a good performance out of either. They come. What a top aptly timed, in all fairness. And a rotation coming through from Slacks as well, but it might be a little late. CT smoke could be enough. Going through the smokes here. Oh, and in towards CT quite aggressively. Slax is very ready, however. But I'm going to get... Oh, dropped. Malb's above smoke. 
around smoke either way that'll seal it the other two players are nowhere near the action just looking to hold what they have kaze needs his stats don't die don't die oh, i think he's actually he's gotta he's gotta get a kill some no okay they're not even gonna give him the option so respecting the flawless game from kaze this far uh but m80 get themselves their first round it's all about recovery here in the first half and just trying to get a nice clean reset moving into the second but i don't know man you need more than one for sure uh, yeah i mean if they can get a nine three maybe but i mean even still i don't know if it feels all that good right this has been a uh, it's a pretty embarrassing in perfor uh, performance by m80 standards this has not been great but again we've got to keep saying it so much credit to tyler they're playing great Brick trying to get active oh it's so messy so messy and then zdr who sees it off wreck he's like 15 plus of the bullets there oh man that is a tough one. He's having a real poor game, unfortunately for him. 2 and 11. Bless him, he's relentless. Oh, slacks. Right idea. Wrong execution. Jam Young deletes him, but Sinal answer back at the very least. Still, numbers good for Ty Lu. And then once again, just pump the brakes. They're not in a rush here. The B side's open, and M80 going to gamble A. Oh, ZTR finds a big frag there. Starting to lock it in now. Swisher, he's going to be spotted as well. The one thing M80 have going for them is the fact that both of their remaining defenders are here. They have just revealed that. And maybe the bomb is going to move away. Swisher left alone as Malb's trying to be smart about it. Unfortunately for him, it's a bit too deep of a read. Tyloo, keep it simple. Swisher finds the head of another split up you know nervy here isn't it the calls the decision making from m80 is that of a desperate team swisher looking for another zdr goes under the cross there Swish dream yeah this is tough it is one versus two. But if anyone's going to do it, it will be Malves. An ace yesterday against G2 was pretty damn beautiful. Kaze holding. Miss shot, though. Oh, second time I'm asking. The old bob and weave. Lovely. 10-1. What am I witnessing here? What a map we are getting out of Tyloo. And it's just so simple. Cheeky grin there on his ZDR. He knows. He probably got away with a little bit of luxury here. This was such a scrappy fight. He survives on six points of HP. Well, yeah, Wreck really. Unfortunately for him, fluffing his lines. That was tough. The fact that he even gets a second, this might be six HP, is kind of crazy as well. But a really, really good round once again from Tyler. With the pressures on, they just make it stick. Double smokes coming through. Malibus will go aggro this time down banana. Try and take a little bit of early control. This is the proactivity I want to see. But final round of the half, I mean, already. We should see this a little bit earlier and more consistently. Just the nades raining in. The start of Inferno is often quiet not a lot of banana contention in this first half m80 trying for it but tyloo really do have a solid solid protocol uh set up in place for that banana area wreck up high could be dangerous usually backed up and i believe he is i think there is a player underneath him yeah okay there we go i was trying to find it on the mini map but uh we'll see how this setup goes straight on top of each other looking good for now slacks with a double piece but there's still trades back from tyloo zdr the man on balcony can't get anything done m80 looks set to find themselves at least a second at least a round right at the death of the first gonna need a tough tough run back into the second half but this might be the first move required 10 to 2 at the turn of the half not a lot from m80 maybe they can turn things around on the t side only time will tell
Hello, everybody. Welcome back in. A uh, swift first half coming through. Tai Lu with 10 rounds. What the hell? Not expecting that. I don't think anybody was coming into this game, to be honest with you. A closer affair is what I was expecting. Tai Lu, I've got confidence in them. You maybe lacked a little bit, um, thinking that M80 would be the monsters here. We still got a series on our hands, still got at least one more map, but it feels like this one's going to be over swiftly. Yeah, I think you're probably spot on. And any any pistol around here taken by Tai Lu, doesn't matter how how it comes, if I made to get a you know bomb plan or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's highly fun to piss around. It's probably the beginning of the end already. Decoy on the corner. That's actually kind of a smart way, in all fairness, to clear this closed corner. See if anyone's sitting there, they would have heard the tag of the decoy, but looks like they're gonna send Wreck round. What has he got? There's two players backside to meet him. Ollie's coming in. A lot of utility here from both sides. Defense from Tyler going to have to be sound. They've got an early rotation. Jam Young hidden away. Advent trying to draw them in. It's worked. First landed. Advent does go down. Are they confirmed on to Jam Young? Not quite. Rec gives his life for that frag and gives his life for the bomb plant. M80 going to have to convert this now. Two moving round. In from Banana. Goodness me. Just, just headshots all over the place. A double dinker there to finish her off. Two versus two now. Slowly encroaching on towards the bomb site as Kaze fighting out towards Dark. Slacks will get the better of him. It's all on to Zeddy. Ah, oh, the first is so clean, but just too, well, one too many, I suppose, is uh, what I should say there. It's very, very close, but M80 take it. Yeah, this is so necessary. It goes without saying, do not find that pistol. It feels like probably little to no chance in kind of this map, basically just off the, the back of confidence more than anything, rather than, you know, the round differential or the economy or anything. It's just, just that confidence in their mind that, can we compete on the C side? Can we make this work? And now they know yes, right? So at the very least, that's the way to go about this. But when you're M80, and you know, this is probably the conversation they had a halfway and the conversation that will be kind of continuing all the way throughout the second half or whatever there is of it is, you cannot think long-term in these situations. You can't think, okay, if we win these rounds and we can chain these, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can only think one at a time. That's, that. That's the only way to not kind of kaboom the mental, so to say. One by one, round by round. Do not overthink the situation. That's the only way that you can start to climb back into these sort of games. There's a bit of a... Uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa stack sort of thing over there. Nadal comes down, and Malbs actually gets two in quick succession with that MAC-10. That's good money in the pocket. They might just keep going here off the back of that. Even if there's a gamble or a force, they should be fine. Yeah, looking a little confident, I suppose. Not full, full sending, but uh, just getting that MAC-10 in maybe for a bit more. Swish are going to get taken down here on the side. And Mr. Slacks has discovered that the bomb site is actually clear, so he'll be calling for support to come his way. Sin. Back in the way. He does have to be careful. He's giddy for some frags. But man, if Advent can find him here. Nah, not gonna happen. Sin playing it really well. Said DR. Any more? All he got is one, so. So far, so good. Had a good game as well, to be fair to him. Said DR has been a, a really good pickup, it has to be said. Doing well. Oh, he's gonna get one more as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. Any more would be nice, but not to be traded off at the tail end there. So, M80, bit by bit, moment by moment, getting in towards this game. Like I said, it has to be just a round at a time. There's no way that you can overthink this situation. Pause will come through as well. Good opportunity for both coaches to get on towards the mic and. Speak to the respective IGLs, and speaking of, you know, he's been really good over towards M80. He's been stepping up quite consistently. See? Tyloo, he's taking a bit of a breather. They're not in any sort of a stressful spot, but coming in towards their first full buy, they want to make sure they get a reins back on this game. Don't allow any opportunities at all for M80 to start climbing their boy way back in. Like we said, round by round, a little M80 you're going to think of. But in this sort of MR12 and, and all the rest, with that CT economy being kind of as feeble as it is, you actually can start to make really good conversations at comebacks. All it takes is like two to three gun rounds, basically. And they can get back into this, so... 
How they want to make sure they don't let that happen. Again, no real contention in that banana area, just a trading of utility back and forth. Oh, here we go, though. M80, maybe starting to show some presence in. A flash round for Tyloo to work with. Jam Young, no one spotted. So he drops back and is safely able to do so. However, it has weirdly worked out for M80 because they feel like they've not seen anyone and they're going to rotate back, but Advent has a little inkling that maybe... They just got a bit unlucky. Trading information here. Or oh, trading nades. Got to be careful on that. Jam Young will get his down. Molotov as well to back it up. Buys the time and space for the CTs to, in theory, get into better positions. Whoa, Advent. Dangerous game goes in again for the flash. You've got to be kidding, but he sets up Jam Young. And it pays off. Double kill for him. 5v3 now for Ty Lu. I can't believe it. I can't believe he gets the luxury of that second flash. Swisher. Need to kill here on towards Mercury. Does actually need to fight himself because he knows he's got one crossing. Flash, swing, find is easy. Switch gets his one, but that's all he'll get. Just like that. Nice and simple. It should be anyway. 2v4. Last man a wreck. Low. No chance. You'd expect a 14 points of HP. Sinnoh gets one. That's it. Bomb actually might go down here. And in all fairness, it will. So that's a luxury they'll take. Not going to complain about that, but anymore is probably out of the realms of possibility. And down he goes. So, where we're at now. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. 11 to 4, back to winning ways and back to Ty Lu in the driver's seat. Yeah, it was this moment, wasn't it, Jam Young? On that two-piece. Ah, it's tough for M80, man. 10-4. Soon as the rifles come out, Tyler, you get the round. You know, it's really not what you want. You yeah. want to be running it back to, like, eight or nine rounds, maybe. And then you can afford to lose one. Even then. Really not a lot of breathing room. So, M80 going to have to pick things up massively. Tyler, trying to oh, send it down middle. It's a little dodgy. Flashes are decent, but just not able to capitalize the mid-push. Really not as easy or as clean to make work here on CS2. Those little jagged angles and the uh, stairs area are a little tighter, you know, so it's harder to get the, the sight lines going. So 5v3 for M80, maybe handed to them by Ty Lu, but all the same, a good start. Yeah, I think you're right. Not bad, man. Not bad. Making a little move. Very passively here through Banana. But when you've got the numbers the way they do, they actually are in no need to rush at all. Wreck. Caught. Great little swing there, Jam Young. And timing's perfect. Had a great game he has as well. 19 and 10. Come alive a little bit more in towards the CT side. They go back towards B. Nobody's home. Rushing over here, but Advent's going to miss his window. Yeah, not much that they can really do for this one, I don't think. I, I feel like you've got to have a save. On the Tyloo side of things, they, again, have rounds, have presence. But, I don't hate it. Yeah, there's not much you can do, to be honest. You're, you're far away uh, as Advent, and then the rotators are even further, and then, like, retaking, man down. Just doesn't happen on Inferno, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't hate it, but uh, it's one of those things they can really buy in. Next round, right? Kaze will have enough of his 1.1k to kind of drop something over, whether it's a, an M4 or even dipping into the Famous. They want a bit more utility. Said the R can buy from self. So, yeah, they can facilitate something here. It should be fine as long as, of course, all three do stay alive. But the hunt is not close enough from 80 here. They'll stay alive briefly. Up to the fifth. Bit by bit. Six rounds is the difference. And it still smiles all round here for M80. I think when you are kind of deaf and when you're M80 in this position, there's no point putting extra pressure on yourself. It's already happened. It's been done. That half is done. 
And now Spot trying to change this T side together. And they just feel like a little bit more of a pressure situation towards Tai Lu, in all fairness, judging by kind of some of the conversations they look like they were having. Advent will take the hit with the MP9. It's M4s alongside him, though. This is pretty good. As M80 continue to try and chip away at this mammoth task ahead of them. Wreck, cool burn. Makes a little bit of damage. Nate comes over as well. Nobody playing through apps here. Tai Lu more than happy to take a step back. M80 just sending the feelers out, try and find that first pick. Again, looking towards B, we've got a bit more presence from Tyloo this time, a late flash in. Nothing found though, they weren't up that aggressively. Decent little bit of nade damage, I suppose, but... No kills as yet. Going back round, again. Oh, nobody in. Slack's gonna find a stray headshot. Oh, and another one as well. Kaze also falls. They might go a bit too quick here, but Advent can't do anything to stop them. M80 should have another round. So definitely picking up life on the T side. It's going to be a hell of a run back all the same. But they will force an eco out, I would imagine. Tyloo probably just save around these saved weapons, if you can keep up with what I'm yeah. saying. They're starting to cook a little bit. They're starting to look really, really good. This is a very, very decent response coming out from M80. And the fact that they're doing it flawless as well is going to give them stability, going to give them real good room to work with. Man, this is what you want to see. This uh, Tyloo side is starting to reel a little bit. Yes, yeah, some of the individuals are playing okay. You know, said the R jam young, but it's not making a big difference. They are going to be testing the way out as well. Hunt coming through. Free beef is at the R, but he might be all that survives here. His team is under a lot of pressure. Oh my god, he's walking away with the kills. They walk away. Fair play. Mercury and ZDR both stepping up in a massive way. ZDR in particular. Great finds from him. And the flash to keep his teammate alive on this shore swing. Not bad. Hunt unsuccessful. All in all, still around for M80s. That's really all that matters for them. Bit by bit, they're gaining confidence. They're growing into this game. Better late than never. And not just yet at the point of too little, too late either, right? So, M80 no more than most. They've still got absolutely a chance. Smoke broken by the nade, but ZDR, this is ballsy. I love it. He's already pushing all the way down. And nobody's behind the smoke, so the banana push can also come through as well. Nice pickup from ZTR. A little bit mental from him to just go for it like that. And he's able to make it away as well. A pretty big deal for Ty Lu here. Oh no. M80. I mean, yeah, they really don't know what's on the other side of this as well, to be honest. You know, it's like, uh, how do they recover that kill back? The Nova in the apartments from Kaze here. Swisher spotted and deleted. Little mouse one. Good night. Three remain for M80 here. Tyloo picking them apart at the seams. This is good. Really good. This is where we get to see Tyloo pressure off a little bit. Some of these individuals coming through. I mean, that play through mid is beautiful, right? A D smoke coming through. One through banana, one through mid. They push it. And then a pot flash from the top mid player who then mollies to keep himself safe. I mean, beautiful. M80 left down to three. Not impossible, but they've got to hit this one. They don't. Jam Young flashed in front of the fight, and he gets reloaded off as well. The off. Oh, missed shot from bad to worse. Four slacks. And a flawless round that Atai Lu as well. He's just going to really, really cement what this team's ability is all about. Jam Young masterclass at the tail end. Beautiful work. Yeah, it looks fantastic here. Jam Young was a key component of that round. An M80 now on this awful bike to stay alive. They've got Malbs with the Hero AK. I mean, you'd certainly want his namesake on that, but the rest of the team just really not good. Tech 9's utility attempt here. Mercury, though, going to open up. Will get traded quickly. Malbs does well there. They're going to try and burst off the back of that. And they find big 
success. I've been the next to fall. Rotations are really far away. The banana play works wonderfully. And again, for Tyloo, I think you just have to save it, man. There's, there's no real way in, even with what looked to be lesser weaponry. They've actually now retrieved AKs, but yeah, there's just no way for you to uh, find space here. Uh, also, the question as well, when you look at it, for Tyloo, was it worth going for any sort of retake there because they know there's potentially some lesser weaponry? No, it's just not worth it. Not with the AWP. So DR, he has an MP9. It's the only thing that potentially could be the uh, the thing that they would warrant giving up. But Murky's got his AK, doesn't want to lose it. But great work from Malbs. That round off the back of him individually. Double energy crack through. I think Jam Young just maybe overfighting just a tad there. And for stays is welcome ever so slightly. But all in all, still a big, big deficit. Five rounds in the hole. And that's just to take us to overtime. Take like these, these kills from Arbs again. Beautiful work, man. Given the opportunities, I'll take them every day of the week. Advent just a little bit, I think, you know, half a second too slow on the trade. He was throwing you, so that's why catching off guard. Reinvest in, though. It's okay. They do drop over the MP9. Happy to go in towards the M4s. They know they want to close this out here. And now, Nate comes in towards under. Nobody there just yet. Jam Young sitting up close. He's been good from this position. Now supporting Util as well. Advent will be the one to drop him. Molotov, good timing there as well. If anybody tries to push, they're not just forcing to pump the brakes. Double nades could be huge. Could be massive. And there's a lot of damage. Albs. Moving in fast here. Oh, it's melting a little bit. A lot of damage done by the Tyloo boys, but no kills as yet. They'll lose that top. Not a control. Not able to put any presents up, unfortunately. On that M80 side, they're apprehensive, you know, with the damage that had been done, you can't necessarily burst off the back of it. Fifty seconds left on the clock, though. M80 have got to make a move soon. Oh, man, it's not feeling good, is it? How much damage they've taken as well? And decent utility in the back pockets of Talu. Primarily those smokes. So they got two more smokes to work with. One being on Jam Young is over towards B to try and slow them down. So as one dissipates, especially now, will be the th time to throw it. Seems like he's holding it though. Not gonna, not gonna drop his smoke. He's gonna try and take contact. They're gonna fight. Jam Young sticking around. Off angle for him. It's good for two. No, oh, it's a beautiful, it's a mow down. Jam Young with three. Advent with one of his own before he falls. Game set in this map number one. 13 to seven. Ty Lu close it. What a display. What a performance on this side who came into their map pick and pulled no punches. M80 find themselves now one map away from elimination. And we're going to find out whether that's going to be the case after the break.